How's it going, people? Well, not too much to drink to, but I gotta finish these red chairs. Well, time to pay more attention to the other book, Doctrine and Covenants, Section 46, Revelation, given through Joseph Smith the Prophet, to the church at Kirtland, Ohio, March 8th, 1831. A custom of admitting to the sacrament meetings and other assemblies of the church, only members and earnest investigators <laughs> had become somewhat general. See History of Church, Volume 1, page 163, if you're so inclined. <clears throat> Meetings of the Church to be conducted as the Holy Spirit shall guide. Neither members nor earnest seekers after the truth to be excluded from sacramental services. So atheists are allowed. At least my kind. I'm still searching for the truth. <laughs> I hope everybody is. I just feel sorry for the people that think they already have it. Because I'm sure they don't. <sighs> Many of the gifts of the Holy Spirit enumerated. Power of discernment promise so that the manifestations not inspired by the Spirit of God may be recognized. <laughs> Might be some satanic verses in there. <sighs> All right. What? Hearken, O ye people of my church, for verily I say unto you that these things were spoken unto you for your profit. And that's the short version, you know. You know, P-R-O-F-I-T. <laughs> and learning. Two. But, notwithstanding these, uh, those things which are written, it always has been given to the elders of, it, of my church from the beginning and ever shall be, to conduct all meetings as they are directed and guided by the Holy Spirit. So now it's the Holy Spirit and not the Holy Ghost? Is that becoming embarrassing? <laughs> Spirit sounds a little more modern. Ghost Hunter sounds like a bunch of plumbers walking through a, an old building with the lights out for some reason. I guess ghosts are afraid of the light. Three. Nevertheless, ye are commanded never to cast anyone out from your public meetings, which are held before the world. You know, that big round place that we live on. It's not really round, it's roundish. Um, Four. Ye are also commanded not to cast anyone who belongeth to the church out of your sacrament meetings. Nevertheless, if any have trespassed, let him not partake until he makes reconciliation. Five. And again I say unto you, yeah, you've said this again and again. Ye shall not cast any out of your sacrament meetings who are earnestly seeking the kingdom. I thought you were talking about truth. Now you're talking about this magic sky kingdom 
that's invisible, but it's got gold gold streets and bedizenments all over the castles and mansions. Because <laughs> you need streets and you need houses in heaven. What if it rains or snows? Oh wait, it doesn't, does it? It's all perfect. We just live in houses by habit, out of habit, right? <laughs> We need roads to ride and walk on, I guess, in heaven. No instant teleportation, I guess. Besides, if you're in heaven, why do you need to go anywhere there? I mean, isn't it all just equally wonderful? I don't know. I guess I'll never find out. Not that curious. It sounds like it sucks. I speak this concerning those who are not of the church, but you might be able to reel them in. <laughs> Just load them up with love. That always works. Tell them they're so fucking interesting that you just want to hear everything. <laughs> Six. And again I say unto you concerning your confirmation meetings that if there be any that are not of the church that are earnestly seeking after the kingdom, ye shall not cast them out. Okay. Seven. But ye are commanded in all things to ask of God, who giveth liberally, and that which the Spirit testifies unto you, even so, I would that ye should do in all holiness of heart. Walking uprightly before me, considering the end of your salvation, doing all things with prayer and thanksgiving, and ye may not be seduced by evil spirits or doctrines of devils or the commandments of men mere men those mortals they can't make up shit like this for some are of men and others of devils but this is good just ask your heart. Make sure you want the answer to be yes first. <sighs> Eight. Beware lest ye are deceived. And that ye may not be deceived, seek ye earnestly the best gifts. <laughs> Sounds like you're shopping for a car. Let's check out the accessories. Always remembering for what they are given. Nine, for verily I say unto you, That, that are given for the benefit of those who love me <laughs> and keep all my commandments. <sighs> and him that seeketh so to do <laughs> that all may be benefited that seek or that ask of me that ask and not for a sign or any kind of evidence that they may consume it upon their lusts. Kind of like St. Benedict, right? Ten. And again, verily, I say unto you, 
I would that ye should always remember and always retain in your minds what those gifts are that are given unto the church. Yeah, I think you gave them in the last chapter of uh, the BOM. I'm using it as a coaster, otherwise I'd pick it up. Um, <laughs> Eleven, for all have not every gift given unto them. For there are many gifts, and to every man is given a gift by the Spirit of God. I guess mine is objectivity. Thank you. Twelve, to some is given one, and to some is given another, that all may be profited thereby. Uh, starting to sound a lot like the last chapter of the BOM. And we all know it's important to keep repeating the same shit over and over again. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to call this a book. There won't be enough pages of original material. Uh, nope, lots of padding in all these books. Thirteen. To some it is given by the Holy Ghost to know that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And that he was crucified for the sins of the world. Because when you really think about it, it, it doesn't make any sense. But uh, it feels good, so stop thinking about it. <laughs> so comforting. Fourteen. To others, it is given to believe on their words. That they also might have eternal life if they continue, continue faithful. Fifteen. And again, to some it is given by the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, we're back to the Holy Ghost. <sighs> to know the differences of administration <laughs> as it will be pleasing unto the the same Lord, according as the Lord will, suiting his mercies according to the conditions of the children of men. 16. And again, it is given by the Holy Ghost uh, to some to know the diversities of operations, whether they be of God, that the manifestations of the Spirit may be given to every man to profit with all. Seventeen. And again, verily I say unto you, to some is given the Spirit of God by the Spirit of God, the word of wisdom. This is all very familiar. I just read this in the last chapter of the BOM, Moroni 10. This is all the same shit. Almost verbatim, cut and paste. 18. To another is given the word of knowledge that all may be taught to be wise and to have knowledge. Nineteen. And again, to some it is given to have faith to be healed. Uh, Twenty. And to others it is given to have faith to heal. Uh, it's just like the X-Men, you know? 
They're all mutants, but they got different powers. But some are similar, and some are combinations. And secret combinations. <laughs> Lost my place. Hang on. Oh, yeah, there we go. 21. And again, to some is given the working of miracles. 22. And to others, it is given to prophecy. 23. And to others, the discerning of spirits. 24. And again, it is given to some to speak with tongues. 25. And to another is given the interpretation of tongues. Well, that's pretty silly. Why not just... That's stupid. <sighs> Whatever. 26. And all these gifts come from God for the benefit of the children of God. Kind of circular there. 27. You know, because you give it all back. And, and unto the bishop of the church. My step granddad is a bishop in the Mormon church. Let's find out what he can do. See what his Jedi powers are. And unto the bishop of the church. And unto such as God shall appoint and ordain to watch over the church and to be elders under the church. Kind of diluting this whole thing here now. Are to have it given unto them to discern all those gifts, lest there shall be any among you professing and yet not be of God. Yeah, we don't want any phonies, you know, trying to make a whole nother religion and cost this one members. Yeah. <laughs> so you can like read people and go, oh, you you have the power of this. Or, uh, uh, I just saw something highlighted. So we're going to have a little single malt. That's enough. My microphone's back here, sorry. <laughs> and it shall come to pass. <sighs> that was nice. That he that asketh in spirit shall receive in spirit. That's kind of like buying something with Monopoly money. But you can only buy stuff on the Monopoly board. Yeah, it doesn't work in the real world, unfortunately. This spirit capital you're talking about. This commerce of spirit. 29. That unto some it may be given to have all those gifts. Maybe like a Swiss Army knife. Or the Super Scroll. He's got the entire all the powers of the Fantastic Four at, at his command. That's bitchin', man. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting this mixed up with fiction. <laughs> that keeps happening. <laughs> yeah, they have all those gifts that there may be a head in order that every member may be profited thereby. I guess that's my step-granddad, the bishop. I won't name him, although I like the guy, actually. <laughs> I'm real fond of him. Uh, I haven't seen him in a long time, but hopefully I'll get to see him before he kicks. Uh, okay.
30. Go first. Thirty. He that asketh in the spirit asketh according to the will of God. Wherefore it is done even as he asketh. Monopoly money. Thirty-one. And again I say unto you, all things must be done in the name of Christ. It's kind of like the magic name, you know, like Open Sesame and you know, Abracadabra. Yeah. Whatsoever you do in the Spirit. 32. And ye must give thanks unto God and the Spirit for whatsoever blessing ye are blessed with. <coughs> That was a blessing. 33. And ye must practice virtue. Practice it. Yeah. I guess so you can get good at it. And holiness before me. Continually. Even so. Amen. And that's it for 46. I thought it was fucking fascinating. It so much like uh, the book of Moroni, chapter 10. A lot like it. Virtually identical. So, more repetition. But I hope you learned something. There was probably something different in this. <coughs> Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. And let me know what you think.